Mzanzi is calling out for Inosa arrest, you guys. They want her behind bars, okay? Hello, bro, people. I hope you guys are doing well today. Now, for those who don't know, you guys, Inosa house are bent down to literally ashes. Like, the only thing that was left there, it was just the, the, the walls, okay? And people got really, really suspicious, especially because the whole thing was just um on camera. Everything was captured on camera. Literally, she was making content out of this. That is not a lie, you guys. Everyone have seen for themselves. And people were just confused. Like, your life is literally um, falling apart. When do you get this whole energy of creating content when your life is falling apart? Now, people now deck up some pictures, as you have already seen, you guys, there. And they just feel like, no, man, these people were not living in this um house. People believe that there was no furniture in the house, no curtain, nothing. They just bend their house down so that they can claim for insurance. Guys, I am not standing up for um the, the Sadiqis, name, but I'm going to speak for myself personally and how I know them. The Sadiqis, you guys were living in the house. I'm one person who watches their vlogs. I watch Inos vlogs. I watch um U -U -U Millicent vlog, but I usually watch Millicent's vlog, but obviously because she's always with her sister, they were living in the house, you guys. As you can see on the video here is um um U Inos vlog. You can see the house is fully finished. And not so long ago, they renovated their kitchen. They had a problem with their ceiling. I think the, the ceiling just fell down, you know. So they were living in the house. Unfortunately, because we like bad things, we like to follow trends, we like to follow any narrative on social media. We don't do um even research, you guys. We just believe whatever we see on social media. You guys, believe you me, you know, and her husband, her family were living in that house and the house was beautiful inside. It was not um that beautiful outside because I think they were still like in the process of just finishing everything. But they were living in the house. This is the house. It is. It was beautiful. It had furniture. You can see for yourself. I don't have to say much. I don't have to say much, you guys. So yeah, I just thought it it is very important to the to do this video because I've seen how people are saying she should get arrested just because she was um creating content. Unfortunately, you guys, in this time that we are in now, everything has to be on camera. It it really depends um who you are. If you are a content creator, sometimes it be like that. Even when bad things are happening, the only thing you will think is like, oh my God, I have to record this, you know? Unfortunately, and yes, it might be a bad thing for other people, but remember, everyone is living for themselves. They're not living for other people. I remember also me, a few months ago, I, was, I got cut by a fan, you guys. My finger literally was bleeding. And the only thing I thought was to take my phone and video call my mother because I wanted to show her. I took pictures because I wanted to send my mother. Before I can literally treat my finger, the first thing that it was that came into my mind was that take a picture and send your mother okay so it's it's easy to blame other people but it be like that sometimes you guys and please don't drag me share my father abandoned me while i was very very young see you on the next one